So we're starting today's video off with a question, guys. My question to you involves a MTD by Yard Machines tractor that I bought for my mom uh, this year. Um, she just moved and she doesn't have a landscaping service, so I've, I've been cutting it. But it was a pain to load my mower up, bring it over here, cut the grass, load it all back up. It just, you know, got repetitive. And uh, I didn't like having to load the equipment all the time. Plus, you know, if she wanted to mow it, she had no way. So I bought this, uh, well, it's Garden Way by Troy Built, but I've owned MTDs. It's pretty much an MTD, because um, I think Troy Built with MTD yard machines. It's all about the same. It has a 16 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton overhead valve motor with the cast iron sleeve. Um, and it runs exceptionally well. I mean, th this thing just purrs. Um, all I had done to it when I bought it, we put some tubes in the tires and I slimed the back ones. It also got a new battery, just a cheapo Magna Power battery. Um, yeah, here's the sticker, MTD. This is my question. It has a hydrostatic drive transmission. And as you can see, I have bungee cords attached to it to try to help hold it forward. Um, also, if you notice, it is missing the, um, it's missing the cover. I actually took this cover off because the cover stops it a little prematurely. And I noticed when I was driving, it felt like it had more to go, but it, it just couldn't go. I took that cover off and got an extra little bit of, little bit of forward movement out of it. And that, that seemed to take care of my issue going forwards and backwards. Now, after mowing half the season with it, she's got about an acre lot, including the front yard or so. Um, not even that much with the dog kennels and stuff. But uh, it stops pulling when it gets warmed up. And yes, I googled it. Yes, I read through forums. Um, some people said it's just garbage, just to junk it and buy another one. Some people said try to find a, a tractor salvage yard and get a new transmission. And then the other option was to flush the transmission of its old fluid and replace it with new. Um, the problem was no one had ever went back to uh, reply on those threads, which it seems like most people don't. They get the information they need, they do the repair, and then they never go back to tell you how good it worked. So I don't know if that worked for anybody. I did not find a complete thread that someone followed through to reply on. People kept saying, check the release. This, I guess, I guess is some type of a pressure release valve. Um, and you pull this out and latch it there so that you can roll the tractor freely. And that does work. And when you disengage it like so, underneath here is where it connects. And this linkage seems to move just fine. Now, there is a little dark spot on the transmission right here. Um, perhaps maybe where fluid was leaking out and uh, I have noticed the transmission makes a horrendous whine growling noise at me um, so is it just leaking fluid and do, can I fill it back up and it work again also I haven't really found where I would go about putting fluid in the transmission someone mentioned uh, to remove the battery and remove this front cover right here and I can get in there more and I guess that's what I'll do but before I I went through all this work if anybody had had the same problem and got it to work after they flushed it or was it just a waste of time um, I uh, push comes to shove here's what I'm gonna do I have another uh, craftsman lawn tractor that uses the same hydrostatic drive transmission the shifter is in the same spot the parking brake mounts here rather than here but I don't even need the parking brake and uh, these transaxles have different mounting spots depending on the lawnmowers they went to so I think I would even be able to mount that that uh, craftsman hydrostatic transmission onto this tractor and that one works just fine and then the shifter lever being in the same location, I feel like I could rig something up to make it work. Um, 
I'd, I'd hate to go through all that modification to put the Craftsman hydrostatic trans in it if I can flush this one and make it work again. So if anybody has any advice, um, I'm going to pull the battery and I'm going to pull this front cover. It, it looks like it's just held in with some Phillips heads and then you unscrew the uh, parking brake knob and then I can get in there to, uh, to see. I'm going to grab my tools in a minute and take this off and look. But I just wanted to know before I really dug into it what you guys thought. Um, like I said, the tractor runs pretty well. this is gonna backfire ah didn't backfire this time <clears throat> normally it cracks after it shuts off um, but anyway so it runs great the rattling you hear is the muffler is loose down there uh, the guts are kind of rusted out of it but it cuts good I just actually mowed I mowed all of the front yard I stopped and had to let it cool down because it would stop pulling uh, it would just barely creep and then I let it cool down and I got 70% of the backyard mode. I didn't get that mode over there and I didn't get the tree line mode um, And I didn't even get to come back up through here and get near the dog pens, but it's it, until it stopped pulling so uh, I'm gonna try to look into it. It says these transmissions don't use a hydrostatic fluid. It uses 2050 weight engine oil So maybe I can top it off. I don't know. I was just wanting to get someone's opinion Before I tear into it a lot of you guys are very knowledgeable and I appreciate all your comments so MTD lawn tractor hydrostatic transmission is it worth flushing I mean the fluid I, I can get the fluid for probably about four dollars a quart at the local parts store it says it takes two but if it's got some left in it it shouldn't need all of it right but I, I feel like it's worth it the deck has no rust the blades are good and sharp the motor runs like a champ it's just it doesn't want to pull so my only other option is to swap another transaxle. But do you think flushing it will make it work? Uh, that is my question. I'm going to leave you with that. Let me know. I'm going to tear into it a little bit more and see what I can find. Thank you guys for the responses that I will get in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll give you a follow-up once I get some feedback. And we'll dig into this transmission. Yes or no, maybe so.